Weeds are a nuisance to crops as they compete for sunlight, water and nutrients. The crop should be kept free from weeds. In order to avoid bruising the roots, hand weeding is recommended. Plastic mulches are effective in suppressing weed germination and growth. Old leaves, diseased and dead leaves should be removed to prevent spread of pests and diseases, increase light penetration, increase air movement and reduce high relative humidity. Once fruits are formed, the leaves below should be removed. The pruned material should be removed and used as compost or burned if infested or infected. Branch kama hii haifai kuwa hapa. Tunapaa tule hii branch moja kama imepanda ikiwa hivyo. Hili, kitoa hii. Unafaa tole mali kama hapo. Hili, hiki ndonda mali umekata. Kitambo, teremuke mpaka hapa. Tiali hapo kumepona. Kwa hivyo, ukikatia huku ndani, inaweza simbua hapa mpaka yalivu. Hivyo, umekata hiyo. Kuna hii matunda sasa nimeze india sana. ndiyonatumia na inakuwa chapu ili iwe nakata mara moja usikate branch uhakishe tunda ambaye haina tawi hii tawi kumbuka ndi inalea hii kitunda hii tawi ndi inalea hii tunda sababu popote pako na matunda lazima kuko na tawi kwa hivyo kwa hivyo nikikata hii branch na ni mwe hii leaf hii tawi akakatunda katakuwa kakonde kwa Capsicum grown in a greenhouse needs support. This is achieved by training and trellising. Training is supporting the plant to grow vertically. It is done by wires running parallel to the beds supported by greenhouse bars and others held by four planks on the ends of the beds. Nylon strings are tied on the wires and trained on individual plants. This should be done when the crop is at vegetative state and before flowering and height nearing the knee height. <laughs> Yo, kamba imesikilia ni kama sasa hiyo imefika mwisho. Kwa hivyo sababu wesi sasa endanisha na tena mpaka huko kwa juu. Itabidi sasa bila inarepuka ndio inapunguza matunda, matunda inakuwa machache pia inakuwa very right. Isaac elaborates on the considerations to take in order to harvest quality yields from your farm. Kwanza una lima shamba yako vizuri. Alafu na chukua mbolea aina kama ni ya ngombe ama ya mbuzi ama kama umetengeneza yako ya compost manyua ni sawa ile mbolea utaona ndio msuri ya kutengeneza mchanga wako unaichanganya na mchanga vizuri inakuwa laini vizuri alafu unaanza kufanya hizo mbendi mbendi nazo lazima uunde mbendi na kipimo lazima iwe na futi mbili kupana iwe na futi mbili Alafu unataandika ndivyo sako kwa hizo mbeni. Capsicums grow from 2 to 3 months after planting and harvesting can be done 4 to 6 months with good management. Eh tiali ukisha panda kwanza lazima imalize mwezi tatu. Kama ume yangu nilipanda mwezi wa 11. Tale moja. Nikamalize hiyo mwezi wa 11, nikamaliza mwezi wa 12. Januari pia hiyo ni miezi 3. Februari mwanzo tulianza kutoa matunda ya kwanza. 
na tukatoa yenyewe tulitoa matunda ile ya kwanza inakuwa kiasi kama hapa e, tulitoa kiasi kama ya ya mbili kenji tuwa ndi kenji mara ya kwanza mara ya pili after one week tulipuna kilo mia ine na msini kwa ingiri na usirate sasa kutoka hapo tulikuwa tunabuna kilo mia tano ya matunda after every three days tunabuna kilo mia tano after every three days tunabuna kilo mia tano Harvesting starts after three months, and only mature fruits, which are usually firm and thick-walled, should be picked. Sweet peppers should be harvested when filled out and still green and packaged for market. Harvesting only when the fruit is green, partially green, and red or yellow, depending on the purpose that is produced and the availability of market. Care should be taken during harvesting and while carrying out other management practices to prevent injuries to the plant, as the stems are brittle and can snap off quickly. Mti moja ya ho itatoa matunda kulingana na vile umeitunza. E, na vile eh utaitunza vizuri itakutolea ma, matunda mingi. Na vile inaendelea tu kurefuka ndio inaendelea kuongeza matunda. Kwa hivyo ikiwa pupi ikatalia hapa sini kuna matunda utapata itatoa mbili tatu ishe lakini bila inaendelea kuongeza ulevu ni inaendelea kuongeza matunda juu. Kulingana na bila mmepangana na ile mnunusi wako, in customer yule unapelekea ndio anakwambia ile matunda ina anataka kama anataka ile imeiva kabisa ama ile ina imeanza kuiva. Ile haijaiva kabisa kwa sababu ya munda ya kuuza. Sasa ile haijaiva vizuri ndio wanataka sana. Imeanza kuiva tayari na ndiyo unafaa sasa uvune jinsi ya kuvuna lazima ukikatia hapo ili isije ukikatia huko ndani eh, aina munda haitapea yule mzazi wakati wa ku wa kuusa sababu inaweza anza kuosea hapo alafu inafaa umpelekee ikiwa hivi ili kitambo imalize kuipa kitambo imalize hiyo green Capsicum production is rising considerably in the country. This is attributed to many farmers adopting greenhouse farming and sustainable agribusiness. The crop is gaining popularity among farmers due to high returns and is an alternative to tomatoes. To farmers, they are a good source of income as they have excellent prospects both for domestic and export markets. An 8 meter by 15 meter greenhouse can earn a farmer over 300,000 Kenya shillings in just over 6 months. They are eaten raw in salads or cooked as a vegetable since they are a rich source of nutrients and vitamins. It is suitable for stuffing with fillings such as cheese, meat or rice and is also canned for sandwich making. Isaac shares the benefits he has achieved from capsicum. <laughs> naona tuko na mpango mwingine ya kuendelea kuongeza greenhouse greenhouse nyingine tuko na mpango wa kuongeza greenhouse nyingine mbili hapa chini tuko na greenhouse tatu ili moja ikingolewa nyingine imepandwa nyingine iko tayari kwa hivyo kwa soko tutakuwa continuous hakuna siku itafika customer kose matunda through his research as a farmer, Isaac realized that capsicum grows well inside a greenhouse. This is because you can prevent a lot of diseases as well as controlling the temperature of the crop. greenhouse <laughs> inafunguliwa neti na watu hapo. Hiyo inasuia hizo mafurahisi isiingie ndani. Hakuna kamdundu kanaweza kutoka nje huko haraka, kaingia greenhouse. The demand for capsicum is higher than the supply. Market opportunities for capsicum include processors, exporters, institutions, wholesale markets and supermarket chains. Isaac sells his capsicums at a minimum of 100 Kenya shillings per kilogram because of the variety in demand. Ayendi chini ya miya moja. Naweza panda mpaka saindi ya miya mbili. Na yendi chini ya miya moja. Marketing, italingana na bile mmeleano na 
mzaji kama e, mtampelekea kuna ile vile mtakuwa mmeeleana kama atakujia kuna ile vile mtakuwa mmeeleana Isaac shares his vision in capsicum farming in order to increase his production Ile tunaendelea kulima isi e, ho ndio tunaendelea kupata ujuzi saindi na alafu pia tunatafuta e, wale wako na ujuzi saindi pia tunaenda tunaelezewa ile tunazofanya na ndio tuko na tumeni ya kujenga ngino zisingine ili tusije tukakosa soko hata siku moja Isaac shares nuggets of wisdom to aspiring vegetable farmers for good income generation ukiwa wao sio mguu sana pia sio raisi bie sababu ukikosea ukikosea mara moja tu itakuleta itakuacha chini ukulima waho ni kulima mzuri uko na painda mzuri ni kulima ambao hawana wengi mnakutana kwa soko mmejaa inakosa bei hii ni kitu ambayo haitoshi kwa soko most commercial varieties are hybrids these varieties have a green primary mature color they also have a secondary mature color that is red but may also be orange or yellow New varieties that are more resistant to disease produce higher yields of capsicum, produce more uniform capsicum or be more suited to the latest market requirements for quality are always introduced to the market.